by Bill Ruth Canadian Press Choose, April 17, 2018 Here are the goods on the goods, it's not coming back next fall. CBC confirmed Tuesday that their daytime lifestyle series has been cancelled after two seasons. Steven Sabados, Jesse Cruikshank, Andrea Bain and Shahir Masood all host the series, which premiered in the fall of 2016. Reminiscent of Sabados' previous series with late husband and business partner Chris Hindman, The Goods taped its final episode last week and will play out the season weekdays at 2 p.m. Until May 10, Jennifer Detman, CBC's executive director, unscripted content, says the public broadcaster will continue to offer lifestyle content via the digital portal CBC Life. According to data research company Numerous, the current, confirmed season-to-date average among Canadians, aged 2 and up, is 66,000 viewers nationwide. Goods drew slightly less its first season, averaging 62,000, the decision to cancel the series, however, I wasn't just about numbers, we are proud of the show, says Detman, acknowledging daytime, like all of television, has become a highly competitive market and genre. Taking the goods off the CBC's TV schedule, maintains Detman, is part of our ongoing redirection of programming budgets from television to digital content, the public broadcaster announced a few seasons ago it would begin focusing its resources on digital, streamed programming, as a strategic priority. The demise of the goods follows Rick Mercer's decision to shut down the Mercer Report after 15 seasons. The two were among the remaining regular studio audience series at CBC's downtown Toronto Broadcast Centre. This spring, the major tenant at CBC Toronto is Rogers. The rival broadcast is between periods set for Hockey Night in Canada occupies one of the bigger sound stages on CBC's 10th floor. Aside from annual air farce New Year's Eve tapings and budding entrepreneurs pitching wares on Dragon's Den, there currently seems to be little use for the purpose built studios within the walls of CBC's broadcast centre. That's more coincidence or optics than agenda, suggests CBC's head of publicity Catherine Wolfgang. She says a soon-to-be-announced new competition show, coming next season, will definitely be taped in Toronto before a studio audience. Other studio-based shows, she says, are in development. CBC does currently partner on or produce a number of studio audience shows taped in other parts of Canada. This hour has 22 minutes originates in Halifax and still standing travels to towns all across Canada. CBC's studio audience specials include comedy festivals in Winnipeg and Halifax as well as Montreal's Just for Laughs Galas. CBC also announced in December that a new, ground-floor studio is coming to the Toronto Broadcast Centre, allowing visitors a behind-the-scenes peek at CBC Kids Interactive, multi-platform productions. As for scripted, primetime programming, CBC has already announced the return of the following programs for next season, the Ray version Green Gables Drama Van, Baroness Von Sketch Show, Burden of Truth, Dragon's Den, Frankie Drake, Mysteries, The Great Canadian Baking Show, Kim's Convenience, Little Dog, Mr. D, for a seventh and final season, Murdoch Mysteries, Shits Creek, Still Standing, This Hour Has 22 Minutes and Workin' Moms. More renewals are expected to be announced at the network's annual season preview event. That will be held late next month and, where else? A giant soundstage at the Toronto Broadcast.